In today's video, I'm going to share with you why I'm buying more defiance funds and less yield max funds. But you still have to get growth somehow, so I'll share with you how I'm doing that as well. We earn over 300000 per year in dividends here at this channel, living the fire lifestyle, which means financially independent, retire early. If you need help doing the same, email me for my e-guides at akintod48 at gmail.com. We're up 18% for the year, beating all the indexes. The SP is up 7, the Nasdaq's up 7, the Dow's up 3, and the Russell's down less than a percent. So we're beating all the indexes again on a daily basis and on a year to date basis we're at 0.53% which if you look above we beat the S&P once again on a daily basis. This is due to Cornerstone. Once again, Cornerstone was up 0.39. Look at this on its chart. Okay, this is how we get our growth. First of all, Cornerstone is a four-star fund. If you're new to this channel, it has a 21% dividend and attracts the S&P roughly. So that's why I put most of my money in Cornerstone. It gives you a 20% dividend. Every year it sets the 21% dividend at the NAV. Yes, it shows 16% here, but that's because it's had a big move, as you can see on its chart. But every year it sets the dividend at 21%. It has 20 to 30% premiums that it averages per year. So you get the 21% dividend and the premiums and you have the special drip to where if you have the dividend up here at 776 it's dripping down here at the nav at around six something so you get free money every month from cornerstone and you get your growth so this is why i have so much in cornerstone and i'm also buying more of defiance but defiance doesn't give you the growth that you need that's why you have to have cornerstone but here's the big news for today cornerstone is 30 percent maintenance and that's why we also have so much in cornerstone and QQQI's maintenance today got lower to 30%. So this is the secret to living the fire lifestyle. This is how I live financially free out of my brokerage account away from a nine to five. If you need help understanding maintenance, that's in my volume three e-guide. QQQI had 50% maintenance. Now it's 30% maintenance. So this is why I'm buying less yield mags, which if we go to yield mag, Y-M-A-G, you'll see yield mag is 50% maintenance, okay? This is the entire secret, again, to live in the fire lifestyle. CRF is 30% maintenance. So yes, we're talking about defiance, why I'm buying more of it and less yield max, but you also have to figure out where you're getting your growth from. Yield max doesn't give you the growth you need because it has nav erosion. Defiance goes sideways to down on its chart, as you can see here. QQQY, it goes sideways to down on its chart. So we don't want defiance for our growth. We can't depend on yield max for growth because it erodes and goes sideways to down as well. So where do you get the growth from? Cornerstone, right? So that's why I told you about Cornerstone first. That's why I have about 400,000 of my dollars parked in Cornerstone. But in Cornerstone's case, you have to factor back in dividends, drips, and rights offerings. And we use the rights offerings with closed end funds like Cornerstone to really level up our account. When you buy my e-guides, Discord access is free for life. And this is where we alert you of the Cornerstone rights offering announcement. We have almost a thousand members here in the Discord chat room pursuing the fire lifestyle. Many members here like to talk in the how to fire lifestyle section. The Discord channel has been just blowing up tonight. If I don't answer your questions for whatever reason on Discord, just make sure to at me, at Todd Aiken, so that you can get your questions answered directly by me. If I can't answer your questions, someone on Discord most likely can. So again, Cornerstone, you have to time that around its rights offerings, which is in my volume four e-guide, and we alert you of the rights offering in Discord. And Discord is free for life when you buy my e-guides. My phone number is also free for life when you buy my e-guides. So if you ever have questions about margin, maintenance, or how to negotiate your rates down, I can help you with that. So we have about 310,000 in margin right now, but our dividends of around 300,000 pay this back at around one year. So here at this channel, we live the fire lifestyle by using debt, okay? For every $1 you put in your account, you get $4 of purchasing power, and I just use a fraction of that buying power to get ahead. Everyone has granted this buying power to them in their brokerage account. So E-Trade gives you one for four. For every $1 you put in, you get $4 of purchasing power, but they have high maintenance in some cases. QQQY had 50% maintenance, but now they have dropped the maintenance in QQQY to 30%. And many of my members brought this to me today, so I'm very thankful for my members for bringing this to my attention. This is a huge development. This is so big, in fact, that I'm going to be selling some of my JEPY and IWMY in order to go more into QQQY because QQQY's maintenance is 30%. JEPY's maintenance is 50%, and hopefully they change these, okay? 50% maintenance for JEPY. If they change it for QQQY, why not change it for JEPY and IWMY, especially because JEPY is more conservative than QQQY. So these have 50% maintenance, a lot like yield max. So I'm buying more Defiance, less yield max, 
Defiance because they have a higher yield than yield max and also because the maintenance is lower at 30%. Once again, if you need help understanding maintenance, that's in my volume three e-guide. And also I'm gonna be selling some JEPY and some IWMY to move into QQQY because the maintenance is lower. Not only because the dividend is higher with QQQY, but the maintenance is lower, so I have to do this. But I don't wanna lose my S&P diversification. I don't wanna lose my Russell exposure. So I'll probably be keeping the IWMY on because I want Russell exposure and the higher yields, but I'll be selling from Jep Y because the maintenance is still 50%. And so I'll just buy more QQQY with the proceeds. I'll split that and then I'll raise my available withdrawal almost by half. So if I had 70 grand in Jep Y and I switched to QQQY, well, then I would free up almost 35 grand, almost 30 grand of available withdrawal. So this is huge. This is why my available withdrawal has increased recently. It's because we had the maintenance change with QQQY. My available withdrawal was at around 190. Now it's at around 211 just because they lowered the maintenance for QQQY. Now you can negotiate your maintenance down. I've told this to members in the past. You can negotiate your margin rates down like I've done twice. This is 6% interest roughly. And you can negotiate your maintenance, but you don't want to negotiate maintenance unless it's really the last option you have in your account. Because when brokerages negotiate with you they don't like to negotiate other things with you so make sure you save your favors okay negotiate your rates once maybe in the next year negotiate your maintenance down but now they've lowered our maintenance for us in qqy which is just a godsend so we don't have to negotiate that down we don't have to worry about the maintenance increasing either because they lowered it to 30 percent because they deem this as somewhat conservative and we are outperforming with the finance funds i don't know what the complaints are with the finance funds we earn about $25,000 per month. 12 of it's from Defiance, six from Cornerstone, four from Yieldmax, and then three to four from uh, miscellaneous funds and closed end funds. So Defiance, we're down 10 grand or so in each position on paper, but we've been receiving 12 grand a month in dividends since October. So we're really outperforming with Defiance. And when you combine that with Cornerstone, that's how we get our growth and how we get our day's gains here, which beat the market once again. 0.53 we're up, SP was up only 0.51. On down days, we tend to outperform as well because QQQY, IWMY, and JEPY tend to go down less than the market on down days. So if I put most of my margin into Defiance and Cornerstone, where we have lower maintenance now, by the way, with Cornerstone and now Defiance, well then my market drawdowns are less than the market on down days, even with this 300,000 in margin debt. So it's not like this margin debt increases when your market value falls or when the market falls, this somehow magnifies your losses. The only way this magnifies your loss is if you have too much leverage of margin on. And I'm about to bring in a loan. So that's going to knock down my leverage significantly, but I wasn't worried about the loan. I didn't even need the loan because our dividends of around 300,000 per year will pay back this debt, this margin debt in around one year. Also, this debt doesn't show up on a credit check, and again, it's low interest, so I don't mind holding this. I don't need a loan right now, but you always wanna grow. If you have dividends, they help you qualify for income to banks. That's how you get more loans and really level up your account. Now I'll be buying more Defiance than Yieldmax since the erosion is so much in Yieldmax that I don't really mind going to Defiance since there's erosion there too, but there are larger yields with Defiance, and they move down less than the market compared to Yieldmax. It can move down just as much as the market because they sell calls and they sell puts. So yield max will move down by as much as the stock in most cases, but will not move up as much as the stock. Whereas Defiance will move down less than the stock on a down day, but won't move up as much as the stock would move up. So that's the trade-off with Defiance. So you get steady eddy dividends with Defiance, but where do you get your growth from? It can't really be yield max. So it's from Cornerstone. And again, Cornerstone, that's why I put 400,000 of my dollars into Cornerstone. And then we alert you of the rights offering announcement for Cornerstone in the Discord chat room. Okay, so that'll do it for the video. If you need more help doing what I'm doing, email me from my e-guides at akintod48 at gmail.com. Also, when you buy my e-guides, Discord access is free for life and my phone number is free for life. So just keep that in mind. Lastly, if you want to follow my portfolio to see how I use this margin to get ahead and live free from a nine to five, just click the join button on my wall or I'll link that in the description below and I'll talk to you soon, everyone. Thanks.